Next question is from Amy Innerarity. With consistent use of MAPS Anabolic, how long should it take a dedicated person to lose between 75 to 100 pounds of fat? Oh, uh, with MAPS Anabolic, you're looking at 30 days probably. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we would have sold, sold a lot more yeah. programs yeah. if we picked you know some what? fun. Yeah. Could you lose 75 to 100 pounds uh, in a year? That's a two-year goal right there. I was just going to say. That's you could, a two-year goal. If you did it in a year, you probably did it too fast. Too fast. Yeah, mm. you're looking at a two-year process. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that, it's not just physiologically why you should do it slower. There's a benefit there also. But also psychologically, the change is if you're a hundred pounds overweight, there are some major lifestyle changes yeah. that need to happen in order to get you to not just to lose a hundred pounds, but then to keep uh, the weight off. And those changes mm -hmm. uh, are not easy. Okay. You might be able to, they might look simple. So you might look at a piece of paper and write them down and say, oh, I went from being totally sedentary. I'll just need to be active every day. And I was eating 5,000 calories a day. I'm just going to eat 2,000 or 1,500 calories a day. And then I'll lose the weight. Well, that's true. But if you don't make lifestyle changes permanent, mm -hmm. which is a long process, you will end up a statistic. And statistically speaking, people who lose a lot of weight, 90% of the time or more gain it back and then some. So this, if this is you and you're got, and you have to lose this much weight, I would give you, I would give you two to five years is what I would say. I would, I would, in fact, I wouldn't even think of it that way. The way I would think of it is I'm going to make small changes, stick with them and slowly change my lifestyle. And the weight loss will happen as a side effect is how that's how I would do yeah, it. Yeah, and wh whoever is asking this question, I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. Mm -hmm. You probably want to hear that it'd be faster. But here's the here's the, the the exciting part about this is you can actually only lose 25 to 50 pounds on the scale this year, you know, or in the next year, and completely make your body look different. Yeah. So I mean, a, a number like 100 pounds of fat is like this arbitrary number that like most people go, oh, I'm 250 or 300 or 350. I have to get off. X amount off of you, but your body will look completely different if you do this correctly and still only lose 25 or 50 on the scale. If you have, you know, built in a good training program, you're dieting well, you're eating well, you're not starving your body, you're not running up your, your calorie expenditure like crazy, just trying to drop pounds as fast as you can. And you're actually trying to make these lifestyle changes that Sal's talking about you can look completely different, 25 or 50 pounds different on the scale because if you've done it right, you'll have built muscle along the way while also burning body fat mm -hmm. versus somebody who just does the, the route that Sal is saying, which is, okay, can I do 100 pounds in a year? Yes, you can. I mean, mm -hmm. dramatically cut your calories in half, run like crazy, just move every single day. I mean, you could lose that weight. The problem is you're going to lose a ton of body fat along the way, and you're also going to lose a bunch of muscle along the way, and your body composition is not going to be that much better had, than had you done it slow and controlled. And, and you also gain it back because, okay, you got to understand something. When, when, we're, when I say uh, big lifestyle changes, your lifestyle is a part of who you are, mm -hmm. okay, how you live. So imagine living in a way that's completely different from the way you live now in a way that requires new discipline, new structure, and and you're taking away some of your favorite ways to, to self-medicate, whether it's for boredom, stress, anxiety, whatever. You're removing that. You're removing your favorite drug, uh, mm -hmm. which is to medicate with food. You're adding in uh, new activities, totally different lifestyle, which means you're probably going to hang out with people differently. You're probably going to do different mm -hmm. things. That is a major change. To change that overnight and then to keep it permanent, almost impossible. Yeah, it's, it's a slow process. It's much more of a takeaway and punishment uh, driver that's going to get you there quick, quicker. Uh, I look at it like like this: like if I had a Scantron and I'm going through this test and I just memorized all the answers and then I got there and I was able to pass the test and you know I got there, but then you go back and did you learn anything? You didn't really learn anything. Right. You, you need to go through all the hard steps to really understand you know what's happening with your body and why uh, you're 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 driven to eat certain kinds of foods when uh, that happens, what kind of stressful situation mm -hmm. triggers certain things. Things, like what kind of sleep you need to get, like all of these factors matter for you going forward so it lasts. And also having compassion for yourself. You totally. know, one of the yeah. things that's really tough when you get someone like this, they, they want to go in and they want to beat themselves up like crazy, reduce the calories. Well, and, they've had a realization. Oh my right. God, look what I did to myself. Right. You know? And so somebody that comes to me with this goal, I normally actually tell them, I don't want to lose any weight at first. 
and they hate to hear that from me, but it's like, I want, I want to build these good behaviors. I want to build your metabolism. I want to start to do things with you that I, that's going to last you for the rest of your life. And if all you cared about was weight, yeah, I could give you the answers to the test. Like, like Justin said, just cut your calories in half, get in here and move twice as much. And you're going to lose body fat. You're going to lose weight. It's going to come off of you. But you know, my goal for you is to, to change your behaviors, to change your life forever. And that's actually a slow and gradual process. And you don't want to, and it, this doesn't matter if you're trying to lose 100 pounds or 20 pounds, that first month to six months that I get somebody like this or that wants to lose anything, I don't want to lose at first. At first, I want to regain balance. I want to introduce foods that they should be eating more of into their diet versus going right into saying, hey, take away, cut, 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 mm. cut, cut. Okay, so here's your strategy. And I've worked with quite a few people who've lost uh, an excess of 70 pounds. And mm -hmm. towards the end of my career, I actually had a lot of success. But he was here was how we did it. This is where we actually found success. This is, by the way, one of the hardest segments of the population uh, to to get permanent results or get long-lasting results. One of the most difficult when you're dealing with over 60 pound uh, of, of weight loss. It gets very, very hard. But here's the strategy that I used towards the end of my career that actually uh, had a pretty good uh, success rate. So what you want to do is you you want to remember that the inner changes cause, cause the outer changes. So we want to focus on working on the inside of you. And I don't mean physically, I mean just kind of working the inside, uh, you know, more from an esoteric standpoint, I guess. So do this, uh, hire yourself a trainer. That's real important. Now that's for your exercise and work with a trainer that uh, has worked with people in your situation. Don't hire the boot camp trainer. Don't hire the extreme motivational trainer that's going to beat you up. Hire the trainer that's going to start you off slow, that's empathetic, that's actually telling you to slow down, not the one that's trying to kick you in the butt and trying to make you do crazy amounts of workouts. So that's number one. Number two, Hire yourself a good therapist. The therapist is going to be someone you're going to work with on a weekly, if not bi-weekly basis, and you're going to be working with them for a long time. This therapist is going to be one of the most valuable people you have in your arsenal because, again, a lot of the changes you're making to your lifestyle are more than just changing your diet and becoming more active. It actually, has, it's, it's about root causes to the reason why reasons why you've been living the way you have. So trainer therapist. And if you throw a third person in there, then I would throw in uh, somebody who's a nutrition expert. In my experience working with those people, when I've worked with clients like this, with the therapist, and especially if they had someone do nutrition, we had tremendous success and it was, it was permanent success. These are people that I haven't worked with for years. I still see on social media who've still been able to keep uh, the weight off and they still see a therapist on a, on a relatively regular basis because again, this is a hard thing to work with, but they did not go backwards and gain all that weight back.